So I got this new Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid last year and I spent almost $50,000 where I could have gotten an old car for maybe like $5,000 uh, mainly for two reasons. First is safety. I thought that new car would be like much safer on the road. And second is that I don't have like time and energy to spend on fixing old cars. And those are the reasons for many people to buy new cars. But for me and many of the other Chrysler Pacifica hybrid owners, even after spending so much money, the car is not fulfilling those reasons. So issue with many of this Pacifica hybrid is that while you are driving on the middle of the road, sometimes accelerator just stops working and if your car still has enough momentum, you would be able to pull to a shoulder or a safe spot. Now if I turn off my car and leave it for a few minutes and if I start back again, it starts to work normally. I wasn't brave enough to record a video last time it happened to me on a freeway because I just wanted to get to a safe spot. But here are some footage from other Pacifica hybrid owner who also had this issue multiple times and he recorded uh, some videos. Switch lanes, sorry dude. Sorry guy behind me, I can't change lanes, shit. So I will leave a link to his video in the description if you want to check out that video and it has like multiple comments by other owners who also had this problem. Now I am so afraid to drive this vehicle for safety reasons especially on freeways because this could cause a fatal accident. If the vehicle behind you uh, doesn't slow down or stop when the Pacifica stops working. Also, I am very frustrated with Chrysler customer service right now. When this issue happened last time, I took my car to Dark Cars Chrysler of Rockville, Maryland, the dealer from whom I purchased this vehicle. Engine light was still on at that time. Uh, so the service advisor was able to scan my car and confirmed that this is the same issue many of the other Chrysler Pacifica hybrid owner has reported. Uh, but they didn't have a rental at that time. So he told me that he's going to call me whenever they have a rental available because this issue could take weeks to fix for them. That's what he told me. But after not hearing back for a week, I reached out to general manager of the, that dealership and their service uh, director got in touch with me with this reply. Does the vehicle currently have the service charging system message on the dashboard? As long as that's currently displayed, we can diagnose it. So now they are saying that I need to bring in the vehicle while service charging system is displayed on the vehicle or the engine light is on. I think they are well aware that service charging system sign goes away as soon as we stop the vehicle. Also, when I took my car to them last time, my engine light was on and they were able to scan my car and they were able to confirm the issue, but they didn't had rental at that time. Now they are saying that they have rental, but my engine light is not on. So now they want me to wait until this issue happens again. And let's say when this issue happens again, and if I survive to take the car to them while my engine light is on, uh, and if they don't have a rental, then we enter into this uh, endless loop. <laughs> so I don't know what to do now, and it's very frustrating. Uh, I hope Chrysler takes this seriously and fix this issue soon. Uh, please leave me in the comments if you have any questions regarding this issue or if you are facing the similar issue with your Pacifica Hybrid.